Hey guys, it's Gordon Sugarland, and the Bronze Goddess, and I'm here to shoot a favorites video. Haven't done one of these in a while. I'm not even sure when I'm going to upload this, so I'm not even going to say what month <laughs> this is because I don't know if I'm going to upload it late or early. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite things that I have been loving recently, and there's a little bit of everything. There's some makeup, there's some shoes, a handbag, there's even some coffee in this particular video. So if you want to see my favorites, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the first non-beauty or fashion-related item. And that is this right here, which is Silk's new iced latte. Now, I was actually offered an opportunity to try this, and I accepted because I absolutely love Silk. My husband can't drink whole milk, so we always have Silk's very vanilla on deck. My husband swears by very vanilla is his favorite, but since he can't drink milk, he has to drink the soy milk. And so I thought it'd be cool to try this um, because I like iced coffee, and so I figured, you know, hubby and I can both drink it. This bad boy is amazing. I had it this morning with some chocolate chip pancakes, scrambled eggs, and turkey bacon. I poured this bad boy over ice, and it was delicious. And I like it because this right here is no artificial flavors, no artificial colors. Um, they say that it's, I think, 100 calories, if I'm not mistaken, 100 calories a glass. That's awesome. No high fructose corn syrup, syrup or anything like that. I got it in the mocha soy latte. This bad boy is delicious. And I liked it because this was $4 from Walmart. Now you know if you go to your favorite coffee house, I'm not even gonna mention their name, if you go to your favorite coffee house, $4 might buy you a small cup of an iced latte. For $4 and I get a half a gallon, winning! So, <laughs> so I was super excited about it. If you guys wanna find out more about Silk's Ice Latte, I'm gonna leave a link uh, to them below. That's it for the non-food related items. Now I'm gonna move into some makeup items. I have been loving my palettes. And the reason I've been loving these, like these are the BH Cosmetics um, palettes that I got last year, the Party Girl and the Day to Night palette. I'm loving these because even though they do have some bold colors in them, they also have some great neutrals in them. I'm loving the neutrals. I've been really rocking neutral eyes and kind of a bold lip for winter and all that, but now that we're getting ready to get into summer, uh, I'm really gonna pull these bad boys out even more. But I love palettes that have a nice neutral section, so I'm loving that. So I've been really using these a lot and a lot of the neutral colors in them, but now I'm glad that I'm able to use them again for the summer and the spring for the bolder, brighter colors. I absolutely love the yellow. This yellow in this BH Cosmetics palette is my favorite. I'm also loving um, the, what the heck is this? Uh, Coastal Scents Sunless Body Art. This is their bronzer in dark. I'm beating this bad boy down. This is amazing. I love this bronzer. Some people only want to do bronzer during the spring and the summer, but I like to glow all the time. So uh, I've been rocking this bronzer, and I think it might have been like 3 or $4 at the most, but it's an amazing bronzer. I absolutely love this bad boy. Also been loving my Maybelline 355. If you guys have been following my channel, you know this is kind of my foundation of choice. Haven't talked about it in a while, but I'm loving it. I love this foundation. I'm not sure if I have red undertones or yellow undertones. I honestly feel like it's more like orangey. I don't know if that's even possible, but I love this because it's almost like a little bit orangey, but not too orangey. I don't look like an oomphaloofa loofa when I wear it, but it's the perfect blend of red and yellow for my skin tone. I love this foundation. I rock this and I set it with my uh, Ben Nye Topaz. Marriage, marriage made in heaven. Love that stuff. Now, my next item, super, super inexpensive. Now, I own MAC blushes. I have a couple of them right here. I've got Ambering Rose, I have Fever, I have Format, Flirt and Tease. I have a couple of MAC blushes that I got on eBay because you guys know that MAC is a little bit pricey and your girl loves a sale, all right? But I recently got these three blushes from I Kate House. If you guys saw that haul video, I am in love with these blushes. These bad boys were $2.99 each and to me they are comparable to these MAC blushes now I can say that because I own authentic MAC blushes and y'all know these bad boys are not cheap $2.99 child please I have the very very berry I have pink du jour and I have spiced rum I love these I've been rocking these blushes all month long love 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 these $2.99 blushes will I ever buy another MAC blush I don't think so. Not when you told me I can get the same thing. The pigmentation of these blushes is cray cray. I love it. Love, love, love those blushes. 
Now I'm gonna talk to you guys really quickly about shoes and a handbag, and I think that's it. So, ooh, and a shampoo that I gotta go get. All right, so this bag. This bag I got last year from Bag Inc. It's very reminiscent of the Birkin bag that you may have seen lots of celebrities wear. I absolutely love this purse. It is a structured bag. I love how hard and structured this is. This is my everyday bag. I rock this bad boy with jeans. I rock this bad boy with a nice dress. I just, I love it. I love this purse. I love how structured it is. I love the classic silhouette of it. This is a sturdy bag that is gonna last me for some years. And I love the fact that it's not so trendy that it's not gonna be cool or whatever in the next year or two. This silhouette is gonna be on and popping for a long, long time. And it's huge. I put a lot of stuff in it. Who's on the bottom? Anyway, it's huge. I put a lot of stuff on it in it, and I absolutely love this bag. It's like I believe it's called the Kate bag from Bag Inc. Next, I'm gonna show you guys these shoes. I showed you guys these shoes before. These are just some shoe booties. These are called the Maxwell, I believe, from Soul Society. And they got the spikes and studs on the back. I love shoe booties like this because you can easily wear these year round. I think from now on when I buy um, boots, I'm going to really try to make sure that I step up my shoe booty game. I do have some shoe booties, but I want to make sure that I get a lot more shoe booties because in the fall and winter, of course, you can wear these with tights, wear them under jeans and things like that, but you can also wear these in the spring and the summer with a cute little sundress, bodycon dress, bodycon skirt. I mean, they're perfect for year round use. A cute pair of shorts. What? A pair of faux leather shorts? Girl, please. And a peplum top? Girl, please, okay? And especially if you wanna get funky, okay? Girl, I love these shoes. These are the Layla from Shootman. But even like I was saying, it's got a nice little heel. You can easily wear some tights underneath. You don't have to really worry about those tiny little peep toe action. But I love these. You can be so sexy with like a, a nice little pair of, um, you know, skinny jeans, colored skinny jeans and a nice button down or something. Or a bodycon dress, bodycon skirt, sundress if you wanna add an edgy touch to a really super feminine, flirty, you know, kind of girly bottom um, of a dress or something like that, like a really airy dress. Do some nice, you know, leather um, booties to it to kind of add a little bit of, you know, a little toughness to it, edge it up a little bit, make it a little bit more rocker chic or something like these. So I love those shoes. And last but not least, one of my favorites has been this shampoo. I actually sent this shampoo to try by Flatiron Experts, and it's their Macadamia Natural Oil Rejuvenating Shampoo. I tried this in my daughter's hair. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this shampoo. It is not cheap, let me say that. It is definitely not cheap, but what I like about this shampoo is it leaves my daughter's hair moisturized and clean, but it does not strip her hair. Um, I'm really particular about what I try in my daughter's hair. Um, you know, she's 100% natural. Let me show you guys a quick picture of her hair right here. But her hair, you know, you know, it, it's a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair to tame, and I really, really am always looking for a good shampoo, and this has been an amazing shampoo for her. Like I said, it kept, keeps her hair clean, moisturized, but it does not strip her hair of its natural oils because I cannot stand that. But I absolutely love this one. Like I said, it's the Macadamia Natural Oil Shampoo that I received courtesy of Flat Iron Experts. Big thanks to them for letting me try it. I really appreciate it. I happen to love it. Uh, I'll leave a link to them below as well. But anyway, that has been it for my favorites. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know it's been random and I've been random, but I'm in a really good mood and I get really chatty when I'm in a good mood. So, um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys are interested in trying out Silk's new Ice Latte, I'm going to leave a link to them below so you guys can get more information about that. And um, if you're trying to track it down, I saw the thing about it and I, and I actually went to the store locator to find out where they had this in my area. I have lots of grocery stores near me, but I didn't want to go to all of them. So I actually put in my zip code and it told me where to find it. It was like 2.7 miles away. So you guys can do that. If you want to try it and you're not sure if your grocery store actually sells it, just put your zip code in there and it'll tell you where near you you can find it if you want to try it. But I really think it's a great item. And like I said, for me, for the price of one small iced coffee at my favorite coffee house, I can get all this. I like that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense to me. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. But anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Until next time. Later, divas and dudes. Deuces.